Hello Taurus, welcome to your June bonus reading. We're just gonna see what comes out. My name's Alex, if you don't know me. And yeah, we're just gonna see what you need to know. Make sure to check out your June. My mirror just died that I use as a, that I use as a ring light. <laughs> make sure to check out your June 2023 love reading and make sure to subscribe so you're notified for everything else. But to start off here, Bro, I just held my cats and I have like cat hair all over me. Okay. We have the moon reversed. And I have this in cinematic mode. So if it's blurry, I'm sorry. We have the moon reversed and the strength reversed. Oh my God. With the wheel of fortune reversed. Okay, Taurus. Taurus, you're going through a major transformation right now. And it's for the better. Overall, we have the Chariot and the Five of Wands. Do not fight this. Do not fight this transformation. Things are about to be revealed to you. I'm not saying it's good. I'm not saying it's bad. The Moon Reverse talks about secrets being revealed. I don't necessarily think that's anyone hiding stuff from you. Of course, it could be. Take it how it resonates. But things are going to be revealed to you that are going to help propel you forward. And I think that's why the Chariot is here. I think you're going to be tempted to fight people around you. I think you're going to be tempted to fight yourself on this transformation, but don't because it's going to be very depleting. And that's why the strength reversed is here. You're also going to feel like this isn't fair, or maybe you feel, I think you feel like this right now. Actually, I think you feel like this really isn't fair. Why is this happening to me? You're just in a transformation phase. Like that's all that's happening. Yeah. Pisces, Leo, Cancer. Hmm. What's coming next for Taurus? Why are they going through this transformation phase? What are you preparing Taurus for? Decision. Oh. Taurus, they want you to be more open because you have a relationship coming in. <laughs> uh, yeah, you have a relationship coming in. For some of you, it's going to be reconciliation because we have the judgment here. But for a lot of you, this is going to be learning how to not judge yourself so harshly. Kind of got the same message for Aries. So we have the two of swords here making a decision or having a hard time making a decision. I think it's having a hard time making a decision. I feel like you're a little bit emotionally closed off right now, but make sure to work on that because we have the Knight of Cups coming in here for a love offer, a love message. So overall, we have the lovers and the judgment. Taurus, you got a relationship coming in and it's a really, really big relationship since the lovers is here. I, let's pull on this relationship. Show me more on this relationship. Oh, it's someone from the past. Some of you guys are definitely reconciling with someone. This came out sideways. Four of Wands came out as the challenge card. So even though this is going to work out, right now you guys are going through kind of a rough patch. We have the Artist Reverse. Then we have the Eight of Cups Reverse and the Seven of Swords Reverse. Um, this person who is coming back is going to confess something to you. Maybe it's something that they did to you in the past that they regret. Um, but... All in all, they want marriage and they want to end up with you. This is going to require you both to be very creative on how to move forward. And right now, I just don't think that you're emotionally open for that. So if you want reconciliation with someone, make sure that you're working on your own emotional availability because it, it will allow you to be more creative and finding a solution to your guys' problems and how to emotionally move forward from the past. Overall, we have the Empress and the Page of Cups reversed. I feel like there's definitely a fear here on letting this person back in. And of course, when we're dealing with an ex, there's always a risk at, um, you know, being hurt again, especially if this person really betrayed us. I do feel a lot of regret from this person, so I don't really, well, let's pull on this person, right? Oh my God, oh my, God. my nose itches. What is this person's true intentions? What is this person's true intentions with Taurus? Hmm. 
Yeah, we got the Five of Swords reversed. They want to apologize. And they do want to be generous with the Six of Pentacles. This is, again, this is going to require you to be more emotionally open. But it's going to require them to be emotionally open too. So I don't know if they're going to be at that place yet. That's up for you to decide. We have the Four of Cups here as well. Part of you is not going to believe it. Part of you is not going to believe them. Just let's be real. Overall, we have the King of Swords and the Ten of Cups. You guys both have to be emotionally open or this is not going to work out. This is going to require you both to be in King and Queen of Cups energy. You guys have to be vulnerable with each other and you guys have to listen to each other. You have to be emotionally open. So whatever, if you want reconciliation, right? If you want reconciliation, make sure to work on your emotional availability and vulnerability so that this process is much easier. Because uh, being in King of Swords energy is not going to help. And I, I'm not just saying this about you. I'm saying this about your person as well. Because I think that they're, I think you guys are kind of mirroring each other in that aspect. So even though they're going to confess to you and they regret some of the things that they've done, there's still that block there. But I think it's there for both of you. So, yeah. Yeah. King, being in King of Swords energy is not going to help. It's, it's not. <laughs> being logical is great, but... For you guys, you guys need to learn how to be emotionally available for each other. Anything else you want Taurus to know about this relationship? Try to avoid arguments. You know, you guys can talk about the past without fighting and arguing. We have the Eight of Wands reverse and the Five of Wands. Yeah, I, I would try your best to avoid arguments if you guys start to get very angry with each other. And right, emotional availability and maturity is all about taking a moment to like really think about what you want to say instead of just being impulsive and saying whatever, right? But if you guys don't take the time again to like really learn about each other's emotions, it's going to delay this commitment that you both want. And it's going to keep you guys from having this new beginning with the well reversed. Again, it's going to require you guys to be very, very creative in how you go about this. Like, you guys have to sit down and find solutions on how to move past the, move past the past. <laughs> so... <sighs> yeah, Taurus, I don't really know what else to say. I feel like you guys are going to end up together, but I think in order to prepare for this relationship, and right, if you're not gunning for reconciliation, this reading is just here to say, if you want to be in a relationship, if you want to be in a committed relationship, you have to work on your emotional availability. If you're not emotionally available, I, you're not going to end up in a relationship or you're going to end up in a relationship that you don't really want to be in you know? So yeah. Yeah. That's what I have for you guys. I'm trying to think if there's anything else I should say. I don't think so. Love you guys so much. Come hang out with me on TikTok. I go live almost every night around 6 to 7 30. Make sure to check out your June 2023 love readings. If you want a more in-depth look at what's happening in June, check out your sun, moon, and rising to get the full picture. Mm, join the discord subscribe all that good stuff i love you guys so much i'll see you guys later bye